what's good with y'all man say bro I'm, i apologize for the absent yesterday bro it's crazy how soon as 2k drops some stuff a lot of things happen in rl you feel me but we are here today i ain't gone for too long you feel me uh we're gonna go ahead and go over every single thing that had dropped yesterday today see what's done happen i haven't really had no chance to really get on and do nothing so uh we about to get on and check it out today plus you know today is monday so monday new weekly tower you feel me so uh let's go ahead and go through everything check through everything and see what's done happen so far first thing first shout out to everybody that tried to put me on point to let me know that new things had dropped and everything bro i apologize that i couldn't do it yesterday or get on the videos but we on it today man uh first thing bro we got a what the same in a bash in berlin it's a live event bro a little one-on-one -on -one. you can use any card that you need which y'all probably already not seen this i think this is what dropped yesterday which it gives you a whole lot apex tier you end up getting a bash in berlin pack and then tier one you get either a thousand my faction points 1500 my faction points or 2000 my faction points which is a total like what 4500 my faction points and then tier two man you get either 30 tokens 25 tokens or 15 tokens which is equivalent to like what 70 tokens and then you got tier three where you get a cosmetic pack a diamond cosmetic pack a diamond side plate and also you get a manager mick foley ruby card so that's a lot of stuff i gotta do and a lot of things i gotta uh knock out if i'm not mistaken this must have dropped today you are able to get a lula tandy 92 overall diamond card bro 79 everything is crazy bro and just to see it on a diamond card is crazy i ain't gonna hold you the only thing that's higher is the vita uh, vitality and that's an 85 but we got 92 overall striker lula tandy if i'm not mistaken was she uh pop house the last time i checked i could be wrong i ain't really even gonna trip into that but uh let's see her badges real quick man she got amethyst i always see it coming tier two quick recovery amethyst weapon master amethyst pain train gold swiftness tier two sing like a bee and she also got tier one uh mercy's opportunity she ain't that bad like her, i always see it coming i like that she do have mercy's opportunities i am cool with her at least having i'm glad that they at least gave her a tier two sting like a b still a tier one it's just her stats i'm not even a stats person but her stats are super low and then like her sting like a b is a tier two which i would love to be an amethyst you know what i'm saying like her badges has to at least be fire for her to have these like low overalls in my mind and, and my brain that's how my brain computing it you feel me with this being low and then her sting like a b is only a tier two which is is good i'd rather see that in tier one it, it's just a problem for me now even though she do got amethyst i always see it coming where she can get her fa uh, finisher a little bit faster and all that stuff it's just crazy to me <laughs> this right here is just crazy to me i guess she's one of them cards like a fixer upper where you want to throw on certain uh side plates or something like that to try to boost up the errors that you want to see up a little higher everything is 79 so whatever you put on there is going to boost it up over 80 and depending on how hard you go you can get it over a 90. so i guess that's the only plus about it or something like that but other than that just her just playing stats it just look crazy everything 79 is just crazy to me i ain't gonna lie to you uh her payback is rage which i love rage you feel me that's a that's a easy finisher right there i rock with rage uh so i wouldn't say she's a bad card even though i would love to see her sting like a beat being an amethyst i wouldn't say she a bad card but her stats is just not it for me you feel me i'm just gonna say she's a fixer upper where you gotta fix her up to the part that the way that you like her you feel me but we have lula tandy right here it's like a free card which is not only thing you gotta do is get the superstar series one Lil morgan and then you got her so hey it's kind of like a free card next up man we get a chance to get dark the clown 92 overall diamond card but you need his 90 overall faction boss card uh diamond card just to be able to get him i don't know how i feel about it y'all know how y'all know how i am when it comes to like getting a card that's a little bit higher than the other one uh but at the same time they might got uh better badges on him or something like that you feel me so let me let y'all go ahead and check out his stats they go to stats right here man y'all let me know what y'all think about the stats and everything bro we're gonna go over to these badges he have amethyst weapon master tier two born to fly amethyst energetic opportunist amethyst all the answers gold pain train amethyst thing like a b and then go dog bomber i ain't gonna lie i like seeing all these amethyst <laughs> i don't like that he's a technician but i like to see all these amethyst i like to see that amethyst thing like a b i've been asking for that and i'm glad they threw that on him at least uh the amethyst uh all the answers 
I rock with that. Help you stun your opponent a little bit more faster. You got your gold pain train. Just an extra little 15 uh, my faction points to do a running attack one time. Die bomber on gold. And if I'm not mistaken, his uh, his finisher is on top of the ropes, right? It's called a whipper cushion or something like that. I could be wrong. I don't know. Uh, then, you know, we got whipper master for the ones that love to use weapons. Hey, there you go. You got a whipper master on amethyst. And then you got energetic opportunities and born to fly. Them just extra badges in my mind. He's not bad. I'm just not a technician fan. I do like the sting like a bee. I do like the all the answers. And I also like, yeah, that's pretty, that's the main thing. I just see, I just like the gold badges. That's it. But other than that, he I right. uh payback is resiliency. So yeah. Hey, hey, man, it's pretty much a free card. Only thing you gotta do is go and grind faction wars. Unlock the boss, buy the boss, come over here and get his higher overall card. So it ain't really nothing to complain about. You feel me? Dark the Clown, I say he cool. Next up, man, we need a Superstar Series 2 LA Knight. Yeah, at that how it goes. <laughs> uh, for a Macho Man Randy Savage Slim Jim version. He kind of look like an action figure. I ain't gonna lie to you. The Slim Jim version, though. So. But he is a Persona card, which is a W. I don't think you gotta do is go grind. Get the LA Knight. Now, the LA Knight, if you don't know how to get him, you gotta come over here to my collections. Once you get over here to my collection, you wanna go down, go to Superstar Series 2s, go inside there, and then he should be right here. You have to collect these cards right here to be able to get them. You need to get Ruby Bronson Reed. You also need to get Ruby Carmella. You need to get Ruby Ricochet, Ruby uh, Sinsuke Nakamura. And then you need Ruby Big E to be able to get him. So these are the ways to get it. I'm just trying to go ahead and show y'all what y'all need and who y'all need. You know what I'm saying? So just go ahead, collect these cards right here, these Superstar Series 2 cards. It's a total of five of them. Unlock him, go in there, knock out the live event. You feel me? Now, I don't know how much these Ruby cards are going for. And they probably gonna go over 100K because it's five of them. <laughs> but it is what it is. But yeah, you collect those, you get that LA night, you come in here, and you go out to this macho man, Randy Savage Slim Jim version. He look like an action figure. I'm not gonna lie to you. I do like uh, the card art, um, the, especially being a persona card, you're able to use them in any mode. So that's a W. Uh, so you just gotta collect all the little, you know what I'm saying, parts that you need for the LA night, man. But y'all seen the stats, bro. Let's go ahead and go over his badges, ills, tier two swiftness, tier two rabble rouser, which is a W. He also got quick winner on amethyst. Amethyst Slippery Ill, Amethyst Born to Fly, Gold Sting Like a Bee, and Gold Dive Bomber, which he is a high flyer also. You feel me? I like the Sting Like a Bee. I like the Robber Rouse. I like the Quick Winner. Uh, Swiftness, A. Hey, I take the free love coins once the game start. And then he also got Dive Bomber on Gold, which you're going to need for that elbow drop to get that little extra, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, when you come down with that elbow. So I ain't got nothing bad to say about Macho Man. You feel me? I'm rocking with him. 92 overall Diamond Car, High Flyer. Uh, his payback is resiliency and I, I feel like he's a dub car especially with sting like a beat being on gold quick winner give you little extra coins robber rouse is a free finisher and dive bummer because you can go on top rope anyway for that elbow drop might as well get the little free 15 my fashion points i feel like he's a dub man y'all let me know what y'all think about him. and then the last one man you need the heat Shawn michaels i don't know how much he go for but you are able to purchase him in the card market if you don't I already know come in here knock this out and you can go ahead and get this 97 Eddie Guerrero. Now, I did see we have stipulation for every match. I'm gonna have to go through and look at the stipulations and everything, bro. We can go through and check them and I'll let y'all know and all that stuff. But here go to Eddie. That's his stats right there. His badges. He got tier two sleeper ill. Go all the ounces. Tier two weapon master. Tier two swiftness. Tier one, I always see it coming. Tier two, born to fly. Tier two, pain train. Go sting like a bee. And go dive bomber for Eddie. Guerrero, you feel me? Which I'm rocking with the gold. I always see it coming. I mean, gold, uh, all the ounces. I'm rocking with the gold. Sting like a bee. I'm rocking with the gold. Dog bomber. Everything else is just a plus, especially with that tier one. I always see it coming. That'll help with your finisher. You all, he's a 94 overall diamond card high flyer. So you know he got some springboard tasks for you. Yeah, I'm rocking with that boy Eddie. I need this boy Eddie. I want Eddie. So I'm going to get Eddie. You feel me? Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about Eddie, man. Payback is resiliency. I'm rocking with him. I, I want to get him. I'm going to get him. He might be one of the first ones I get. No, I ain't going to say he's going to be the first one because I'm probably going to get the dark before him because it's, it's easier to get him. Because plus, I already got him unlocked. But yeah, 
my boy Eddie. Now, as you can see, this right here is a backstage brawl. They finally brought, I, I think we had to figure it out how to go backstage and now they finally giving us backstage brawl because they haven't dropped a backstage brawl the whole time until the community found out that you can go backstage. Now they are letting us go backstage, which is kind of crazy. I don't understand why they just didn't do it at first, but I do like that they are allowing us to go backstage, giving us different areas to be in uh, a different match type where they are placing us already in the backstage. I'm rocking with it, I'm liking it. I was happy just to find out we was able to go backstage when we fought against Sami Zayn. And now they starting to let us go backstage. Yes, sir, I'm rocking with it, you feel me? Now, this match is a KO match. So you have to knock him out. It says last man standing. I don't know, I know KO is on, so I think that's gonna be the way that people is gonna knock him out. Bro, everything on, two out of three falls on, Iron Man on, over the top rope on, KO on, last man standing on, everything is on. It's supposed to be a backstage brawl, so I guess it's just turn it on because it really don't matter, you know what I'm saying? Uh, fall counts anywhere. Uh, the match stipulations is all in the reflexes where you can't see the reverse prompt. Now that they got backstage brawl in the game, they might have turned them up a little bit in the backstage. I don't know. I want to play this match now. I got to get Shawn Michaels ace out because I, I need to try this match. But let me get back on track, man. We got uh, in the reflexes where you can't see your reversal prompt. You got death from above where dive attack damages are doubled. So, which is good because Shawn Michaels has an elbow drop. I think he has it as a signature, so that's a that's a dub. Uh, then we got out of the loop where you can't see your HUD. Oh my gosh, one of these again, huh? And then CM Punk, he start with a signature and then he also have three finishers, which is crazy, but we don't get none of it. We just gotta go with the flow. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh man, but we need a heat Shawn Michaels for this. I do, like I said, I do like that they are doing something different and making us start backstage, which is crazy. Once we found out how to do that, now they bring it to us. Next stipulation match, man. We got the one with the Dark the Clown, man. I don't speed ran it through everything, so I got to backtrack through everything, bro. Um, let's go ahead and go over. My boy got the same thing. You can't see your reversal prompts. Then we got Arm and Dangerous, where weapons do more damage. Ending at the finish, where we have unlimited finishers. I'm expecting this to go for everybody. And then out of loop, where you can't see your hood. Uh, this is going to be a crazy. So we ain't got to worry about no modifications. We just got the stipulations. That's the only thing that we got to worry about is we can't see anything. Everything is just unknown. You can't see your reversal prompt. You can't see your hood. We, everybody starts with unlimited finishers. So that's one good thing is we all got unlimited finishers, but the other bad thing is we all got unlimited finishers. This is a triple threat match where anything can happen. You ain't just worrying about one person, you worrying about two, and then weapon does more damages. So I guess you just be outside just throwing chairs at people back and forth or something like that. I have no idea. And then trying to make sure that you have all the my fashion points requirements done in time. Oh, this is gonna be a crazy bro. These dudes probably put the spam and everything. I'm going backstage. It says fall counts anywhere, so I mean we can go backstage. So I'm going straight backstage. Y'all should never show me about backstage. I told you any time that we can go backstage, I'm going backstage and guarantee I'm going backstage. You feel me? But this match right here might be a little difficult. I ain't gonna lie to you, cause I don't really know what those what's, what they call jobbers. That's what y'all call them. I don't know what the jobbers are gonna look like. They might be Galaxy Opals and all this other stuff, bro. But yeah, man, Dark the Clown. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. And then the last one, the one is for the Lulu Tandy. You can't go out the ring. What is this right here, man? It's a TLC match, so you gotta go for the uh, belt. What is this? Uh, finish, finishers damages are doubled. So it's just something simple. It ain't nothing crazy. Uh, but they start with a finisher, we don't. Okay, that's crazy. It's a one-on-one -on -one match, so you should be able to try to reverse that first finisher or something. And then just go on about your, your business, you feel me? Superstar of the Month is uh lil morgan which you will see over here because we do got some upcoming that ain't here just yet we gotta wait six days for this nine days 13 days and then 20 where you see live live and then you see live this is the superstar of the month so they will be dropping i guess a lot of things with her uh involved in it uh we also are able to get a fan baller 94 overall diamond card bro man look at his badges oh let's go ahead and run through this real quick they go to stats <laughs> you know what i'm saying and then his badges like I said, Finn Balor, 94 overall diamond card. He is a striker. He gets super ill on tier two, sticking together on Amethyst, Mercy Opportunities on tier one, Swiftness on gold. I always see it coming on tier two, Born to Fly, Amethyst, Amethyst Pain Train, Amethyst Thing Like a Bee, and Gold Dive Bomb. I ain't got nothing to say. I, I rock with the I always see it coming. 
I rock with the Mercedes Alvatunas. I like the Amethyst Thing Like a Bee, which is a dub. Dive Bomber on Gold. Yeah, I ain't really got nothing to say about Finn Balor. Plus, he's a striker, so it's easy to get, you know, saying how to your business. You ain't got to worry about nothing too much when it comes to trying to get the my fashion points requirements to finish the match. Yeah, then he got resilience as his payback. I ain't got nothing bad to say about Finn. I'm rocking with Finn. I like what Finn looking like. Yes, yeah, sir. Now, we already know about the big Papa Pump, Scott Steiner. You need the uh, Sami Zayn for this. Now, I don't know what's, exactly what's going to happen, but I think that if you are not able to get this card right here, which I've been hearing mixed, you know what I'm saying, mixed signals. I don't hear a lot of people say that they pulled them uh, and it was easy to get them. They done pulled them out of a basic pack. And I got some people over here saying that it was super hard. And they've been pulling like crazy and they can't get Sammy. So I don't really know what's going on, you know what I'm saying, at this moment. I don't know if they made it easier to pull them or those people just got lucky to pull them. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But for the ones that haven't pulled them, which I want Scott Steiner also, I'm not really tripping too much because every live event that done came out, especially when they persona cards, like with the Roman Reigns, when they had to come back with the Sami Zayn and all that stuff, they usually circle back around. And by the time they circle back around, those cards that are needed are usually inside the card market. So you can just go ahead and purchase them. So you can go ahead and just do the live event once it come back around. Don't quote me on that. And I'm saying that because 2K is unpredictable. So some things will seem like it should go one way because they done did it like that before. And the next thing you know, it'll never happen. So I don't really want to set anything in stone with nothing that I say because I don't know what 2K is going to do. Now, I got lucky on them dropping everything on the first, which was yesterday. But they are prone to do some stuff that don't make sense. So I'm just saying, usually they bring these cards back. So if you miss out on them right now, it might be a chance in the future where you're able to still be able to get them. So if you're not able to pull Sami Zayn, don't try to get too bummed out because they might swing him back around so you can be able to get them once Sami Zayn is inside the card market. That's all I'm trying to say. And that's what I'm banking on. I'm hoping that he's gonna hit the card market and they are gonna bring him back. If they don't, yeah, then I'll just be looking stupid. But I'm just letting you know, you have a chance to try to pull Sammy right now, or you had a chance to try to take a chance that hope that they end up bringing him back around. And that's what I'm banking on. Next up, man, we got a Becky Lynch Pink Diamond 95 overall technician card. Y'all know I don't like technicians, but we are getting Pink Diamond so far. So when is this? It said 13 days. So is Pink Diamonds about to get ready to start dropping in 13 days? They, they releasing this in 13 days. Usually when they release that first diamond, the first pink diamond card, they start to go crazy with them pink diamonds. You feel me? Um, her badges is in uh, gold endurance. Gold, I always see it coming. Tier two, super ill. Tier one, heavy handed. Tier two, pain train. Amethyst dive bomber. Gold, going in hot. And amethyst thing like a bee. And also amethyst space invader. Dang, she got a lot of badges. I like the amethyst thing like a bee that's on her. I don't know. I ain't gonna say finally because I know it's other females, but I just like to see Amethyst cards or Amethyst thing like a be on female cards, man. She also got going and hot on gold. I always see it coming. Come on, cuz on gold. She got uh heavy handed as long as it's tier one where I can still reset your stun. Amethyst space invader, dive bomber on Amethyst. I ain't really got nothing to say about this Becky Lynch card at all. Payback is resiliency. Yeah, she looking straight. She looking good to me. That's all I can say, man. I rock with her. And then the last one, man, we are able to get a Dirty Dom. You know what I'm saying? Pink Diamond, 96 overall striker card, bro. Her or his stats right here. You feel me? Which I rock with Dom because he also got springboard attacks as a striker. So, you know what I'm saying? I rock with my boy. And then when it comes to his badges, he got Amethyst Wet Blanket, which is a W. Uh, tier 1 Slipper Ill, Pain Train Amethyst. Tier 2, I always see it coming. Amethyst Swiftness. Gold Dive Bomber, Gold Born to Fly, Amethyst Thing Like a Bee, and Tier 2 Mercy Opportunities. Dom is crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Amethyst Thing Like a Bee, Tier 2, I would see it coming. Wet Blanket on Amethyst, Mercy Opportunities. It's on Tier 2. It's still gonna get the job done. Dive Bomber with the, you know what I'm saying, the Frog Splash, uh, Pain Train. I'm not even a Pain Train fan, but. Just, just do a running attack. You know what I'm saying? You'll get that. Swiftness. You get that just by the start of the match. I feel like you get a lot of points for him. And I just like his badges with his card. And he's a striker. So you ain't really got to do too much. Yeah, I'm rocking with that boy Dirty Dom, bro. I am not going to lie to you. Just by having Wet Blanket that high. Amethyst sting like a bee. Yes, sir. You feel me? Payback is resiliency. Pink Diamond, 96 overall striker Dirty Dom. 
I'm rocking with him. He will be one of them cars I, I did I go out there. But other than that, man, we got the new Faction Boy boxes that is out at this moment, bro. If y'all don't know, I am behind on all this. All this stuff dropped yesterday. You feel me? We got brand new Faction Boy bosses. Also, I got Dark Unlocked. I just got to earn a hundred uh faction wars credit probably not even 175 faction wars credit and then i will have him to be prepared and ready to go ahead and knock out the little live event for him and one of the things that i like so far is that when you unlock them already when you had already unlocked them they had them they got them unlocked for you so i didn't have to replay to unlock these cards these are the cards that's already that was already unlocked that i had already played against before they even dropped so that's a w on 2kn yeah that's a w because i was thinking that they had put these things in there but they weren't going to be unlocked when they dropped them but uh, they did so yeah we got a lot of cards that's out right now the new faction wars bosses are out for all the ones that's been waiting on them get out there get your cards and have fun next up y'all know today is a new week today is monday so we get a new weekly tower man and we get a bash in berlin pack for this weekly tower for week 30. these are the matches we got a submission match against chad gabriel we got a last man standing match against Luke Gallows. We got a handicap match against Drew McIntyre and LA Knight. We got a one-on-one -on -one match against Trick Williams. And then we also got a triple threat match against Vader and Otis. Y'all let me know what y'all think about these matches. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the reward for this week. Are y'all cool with it? Are y'all rocking with it? I hope that when I get this pack and I open it, I can get something decent out of it. You feel me? <laughs> so if I get something decent, I'm cool. I, I, I like the, you know what I'm saying, reward. But if I don't get nothing, yeah, I ain't, I ain't even care about it. You feel me? But yeah, we end up getting a Bash in Berlin pack. And unless I'm mistaken, man, I think that's pretty much it, man. I'm kind of on a speed run right now because I'm trying to hurry up and get this knocked out. So if I'm skipping over anything, I'm missing anything, y'all let me know down in the comment section, bro. And I'll come back and, re and go back over it. Uh, but i'm trying to go ahead and i gotta knock out some stuff and do some things so i'm trying to hear if i speed run through this man but i hope that y'all did enjoy the video if y'all did hit that like button subscribe and all the other good stuff bro we got more content to come and i'll get it y'all on the next one i'm out <laughs>